Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Stats. Uh, this is going to be the second part on our series on how to create the Stack Exchange website uh, using the Drupal Content Management System. In our first lesson, we looked at how we uh, to install the answers module, uh, which created two content types, uh, the question content type and the answer content type. Uh, we set permissions, uh, created a new user. Uh, uh, set a default home page to show a list of all questions and unanswered questions. Uh, in today's tutorial, uh, say for example we, we, we're working with something like the Stack Exchange website which uh, deals with some bits of programming and we want our users uh, to be able to write some snippets of code uh, in our answer. Uh, so in a, in a situation where we have something like uh, we want to be able to add something like this and say uh, we want to be able to uh, write a PHP code uh, and, and, and then so things like that. So so uh, how can we achieve this uh, using the Drupal CNS? I will be using these two, two modules, uh, the Syntax Highlighter and the Syntax Highlighter Insert module. Uh, so go ahead and download these two modules. Uh, so if I do drush, uh, download uh, Syntax Highlighter and uh, let's download that one and we also download the syntax highlighter and let's go insert module once these two modules have been uh, downloaded let's go ahead and install them so if we come back here and click on modules right upon clicking on modules you find that our modules page is not loading uh, this is due to an error uh, in the syntax highlighter uh, module which probably has been corrected in development version but I'm not sure uh, but to solve that piece of problem if we go back to uh, sites uh, sites all modules and if we look for the syntax highlighter and if we check our dot info file let's open that and we'll find these quotes around it so let's take out them quotes uh, take that out take that out uh, if, as long as them codes are there uh, you will not be able to install this module uh, so let's take out all these codes and once that's done I'll click on save and if we return back to our page and refresh our modules page uh, we should find our modules page now loading fine right beautiful so the next thing is we want to enable our syntax highlighter uh, which we'll be using with the WYSIWYG module let's go ahead and also download the uh, Drupal WYSIWYG module uh, so drush uh, download what you see is what you get uh, let's enable our WYSIWYG module just enable what oh, you see is what you get yes right uh we also want to download uh the library for our syntax highlighter uh, so you can go ahead and download it here and extract it into your site or libraries folder as you can see uh, in my site or libraries i've already extracted mine in here uh, so go ahead and do yours right now that WYSIWYG has been installed uh, we want to also get uh, a content editor we're going to be using for this tutorial I'm going to be working with the CK editor uh, which I've downloaded and extracted into my site or libraries folder uh, so let's go ahead to our modules page click and refresh and now let's go ahead and enable a syntax highlighter inside WYSIWYG views order syntax highlighter and let's click on save configuration all right once those modules have been installed the next thing is we want to uh, configure our filter uh, which we're going to allow users of our website uh, to be able to use so let's go to WYSIWYG profiles uh, for this tutorial we're going to be using the CK editor and we click on save <coughs> and once that's done let's click on edit uh, buttons and plugins let's select bold italics 
underline and uh, well now we should have a sin insert syntax highlighter tag we we'll check that let's check spelling check spelling uh, what else do we need here uh, link yep and on link and that should be fine for now once that's done let's go ahead and click on save Uh, yep, so now we've set our WYSIWYG profile for good to configuration. Let's look at text formats and full HTML. Uh, let's configure that and say authenticated users. Also, click on save configuration and uh, let's go back to text formats. Uh, we're going to disable filtered HTML uh, for this tutorial. Once that's done, uh, let's go back to our own page. And now we'll discover uh, that we should be able to add a piece of uh, codes in our answer. So let's create a new content. Uh, let's create a new question. Simple. HP. How do I write a simple PHP function? And I click on notify and answer and click on ask your question. Uh, one other thing we might want to check is let's go back to the configuration page. If we go back to syntax highlighter, uh, you want to set the enabled languages uh, PHP is selected uh, let's assume this website is going to be for PHP however if you want it to be for every kind of language just click on use autoloader you should check every uh, language present here or you might also want to check the ones you want uh, I'll just leave the default for now and I return back to my own page alright so now we have a question about simple PHP let's go back here and let's click on refresh and let's click on simple php post an answer so we want to be able to answer this uh, uh, simple php function so we say here is a simple uh, php function and come back here click on this now she give us a, a simple um, dialog which enables us to um, write our function we call it a uh, simple php it's php line uh, let's say 10 lines and let's click on insert highlight attack so let's begin by writing our code so call it function simple score php shift enter to go to a new line uh, shift enter echo I'm a PHP function and uh, shift enter and that should be the end of our code and once we press enter that is the end of our PHP code once that's done, click on post your answer. And voila, we should find a beautifully formatted PHP code showing up in our answer uh, for our uh, Drupal answer website. So if I go on here, click on home, I will find that that question has been answered. Click on that question and we should find it beautifully formatted for us. Uh, I think this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Uh, uh, we've learned how to uh, create, use the syntax highlighter module uh, to create simple PHP snippets in our answers. Uh, in our next tutorial, we'll look at something new. Uh, so I'll see you in the next lesson.